Hello guys, today we are going to create the remaining layers for the vortex simulation. I was supposed to make a full video today, and I recorded it too, but it was too lengthy around 2 hours. So I decided to break it down into more parts. Before moving to Houdini, make sure to like share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I uploaded the hip file on Patreon, you can support me on Patreon. Let's dive into Houdini. So copy all this thing here. We need some space to add a few nodes here. Take an attribute noise node. We are going to create three layers with different offsets. We need to add noise on the position, so let's add P in the attribute name. In the range value, select zero centered noise. Zero centered noise gives us the amplitude value is negative to positive. Currently, we had add too much noise, let's reduce it by 0.5. Now click on the XYZ icon, this gonna extract the scale value for each axis. We need to add noise only on the Y axis. So make the value zero for the X and Z axis. Let's add some random offsets. Turn on the animated noise, so we can get some noisy movement. I'm gonna increase the pulse duration. Pulse duration will add more movement in less amount of time. Go to the fractal settings. Currently, we have so much jagged movement, to reduce this we need to reduce the roughness value. Here I'm going to keep the value around 0.12. As you can see, now we have a much smoother surface. Now we need to make a copy of all these two nodes. Let's change the rotation value and transform. I need to make it slower by 50%. For the second one, just change the offset, and everything should remain the same. Make another copy of these nodes. For this route, I'm going to keep the same as what comes from the copy node. For the rotation, I'm just gonna add some random numbers. Now merge all the layers together. Remove the null and connect it to the first layer. In the scatter node change the value of force total count to 40,000 times 3. For the other nodes, everything will be the same. Let's move directly to the solver. Go to shape settings. And reduce the disturbance value to 0.25. For the turbulence change the value to 0.34. Dive inside the solver. In the curve force, we need to increase the max influence radius to 1.5. Let's preview this. Decrease the substeps and increase the voxel scale only for preview.
Now if you see the previous layer and the current layer, the scale is similar. So for the current layer let's reduce the circle scale to 1.4. Finally, increase the substeps and reduce the voxel size and cache it to disk. This is the result after cache. Again make a copy for all these nodes. We need to make this bigger. Increase the circle scale to 1.75. Change offset in every noise node, so we won't get similar output as the previous one. Change the rotation value for the first transform. Change the force total count in the scatter node to around 0.2 million. For the other nodes, keep it the same. This is a bigger layer, so it will going to take time to cache, that's why increase the voxel scale to around 0.0125. Now cache it to disk. This is the result after cache. I will upload another part on Wednesday. On that part, I will cover the internal layer for the vortex. And on Saturday, I will cover the layering, post scaling and adjustment for all the layers. Drop a comment if you like this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.